All right, guys, a little change of pace today. We're going to take a break from the work and have a little fun and get the go-kart track ready. All right, got a good group of guys lined up tonight to come out the race. Got the fleet of John Deere tractors lined up. We got the uh, 655 with the roller on it, 855 with the water wagon, and the 955 with the grader. So track's actually in pretty good shape. We actually got rain a couple days ago, so there's actually some moisture down in the track. But the top of it is dry and a little bit rough, so the first thing we're going to do is fire up this one, get the track watered down, get a little moisture in it, hop on this one, grade it, Hop on that one, roll it, and see what we got. So let's get started. Let's throw some water down. You guys have been around the channel for a while. I know this is my first welding project ever. That's actually a luggage cart off an airport i turned it into a dump trailer and uh now it's our water wagon at the truck it uh it works really well so here we go oh all right take two let's try that again here we go You excited about racing tonight? You gonna race? Not racing any people. Just gonna drive your cart? Yeah. All right, we got one tank of water down. We're getting ready to start in on the second tank. You guys see my little filling system before we just pump water out of the pond. It usually takes uh, 15 to 2,000 gallon, 1,500 to 2,000 gallon of water to get it ready. So we'll get this tank full. And I think we sprung a leak there, Gunner. What do you think? Yeah. You gonna ride back here and keep an eye on the water? You gonna record for me? All right. Just keep it on. Just show the water. Alright Gunner, there it is. We got uh, two loads of water down. You know what's next? Grade the track. We gotta grade the track. track. So I tell you what, let me uh let me grade the track and we'll see if your legs are big enough. If your legs are big enough, maybe we'll let you roll the track. Okay. Alright? Yeah. Alright, so what we use to grade the track, this is basically what I'd call an arena drag. One thing you gotta notice about it is the attack angle is almost at a 90 degrees. So it won't cut, it just kind of scrapes, which allows it to break up the dirt real good and kind of make it nice and smooth around there because uh, go-karts don't have suspension. We like smooth tracks, so let's fire up this beast and go to town.
ran him over. Yeah. That wasn't good, was it? Well, what's the verdict? Can you reach the paddles? Yeah. Do you know what they do? Forwards, backwards, and don't know what this one is. That's the brake. That's the most important one. And then what are these? You don't have to worry about those. Those are just more brakes. So. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get you started. You just need to keep going around the track real slow, rolling it in. Think you can do that? Mm-hmm. All right. You know how to start it? Yes. All right. Which start it. Which one do I turn it? You, you want to know something, Gunner? What? This is the very first tractor daddy ever drove. Now it's going to be the very first tractor you're ever going to drive. You excited? Mm -hmm. Alright, start it up. Turn, turn it this? towards me. Keep going. Alright, now. That one goes forward. That one goes backwards. You want to stop. Push this one, alright? He didn't waste no time getting started, did he? There he goes. So this roller attachment, guys, is actually built out of an Ingersoll ran asphalt paver and uh, we just kind of converted to pull out a tractor up here at the track the hydraulic hooks up hookups the vibrator part does work but this particular tractor don't have uh, remotes on it so we just uh, use it as a static roller which still works pretty good what this does is it just kind of keeps getting everything smoothed out and then i'll come in behind them we'll grade it a few more times roll it a few more times and just kind of keep working it down it works good if you get the roller and the grader going together What do you think? You good? You can go a little faster if you want to. <laughs> that little tractor, I bet you I probably got, I bet you I probably got over 2,000 hours on that tractor myself. It's only a little 16 horse, 16 horse John Deere 655, and it has been a handy little tractor over the years. It's not quite near as useful as the uh, 855 and the 955, but uh, it's still worth keeping around. I'm excited, man. I got me some help to, help to work on the tracks. Macy helped me last year. Gunnar helped me this year. Heck, by the end of the year, I'll just have to show up and race. He's doing good. He's coming right along the edge.
<laughs> Look at him go over there. Can you guys see him? He is doing an awesome job. I was able to get the seat slid up for him a little bit. The seat still adjusts on that old tractor. It's uh, it's doing good. He is doing awesome. This is this is what you call a proud dad moment right here. So I'm gonna let him make a few more trips around there, make sure he's comfortable on the tractor, and we'll let him keep rolling. I'll hop back on the other one and we'll uh, we'll grade alongside him, and then eventually we'll get to the point where we'll just roll it off, add some water. This puppy will be ready to race. Here he comes out of turn four. I think he'll give us a wave. Oh, he's all kinds of, oh, he did get a wave. He's all kinds of serious, look at him. I get asked all the time how big this track is. I can't remember. I didn't measure it in a past video. I'm pretty sure it's like 120 feet across. It's like 180 feet long ways. Average speed around here is about 37 mile an hour on a go-kart, I do know that. He's doing awesome though. All right, let's go hop on the other tractor and go grade next to him. Track is turning out absolutely awesome, guys. That worked good. It is smooth as butter. We just need to go through, get it all rolled down. What we'll let Gunner do was we'll let him go through, get it all rolled down nice and tight. I will water it really good one more time and uh, just let it soak. We got about two or three hours before everybody shows up. We'll uh, let it soak here in the sun and the water. And then hopefully the first few laps we run on this, it may be a little bit dusty. Uh, but as the sun goes down and the uh, laps get put on, the moisture will come back out of the track and we should be in pretty good shape for tonight. We should be in pretty good shape. Make one trip around the track here and find out any lovely past race debris we can find. Got go-kart parts, got all kinds of stuff. So what do you think? You a professional tractor driver now? Mm, probably. probably not. Let me hit just a few spots you missed. Then we'll throw some more water down and I think it'll be good. High five, you did an awesome job. My foot. Your foot sore? All right, you did awesome, buddy. Did a really good job. I'm not going to sit on here and Okay. All right, got her did a really good job. We just got a few spots.
gunner's help, we got the track looking absolutely awesome. Time will tell, but I think it's going to be a good racy track tonight. So what I'm going to do at this point is we're going to put about a thousand gallons of water on it, get it nice and wet, just let it soak, let it back here in the sun for a little bit, and then we'll be good to go. So the gunner's still in the riding mood. So oh boy, boss is coming over. Did you bring us waters? We brought you drinks. You're so nice. You're welcome. Mine's already open. Gunny, you were driving the tractor. How come you let them th that happen? Huh? How come you let that happen? I told him I was the first tractor I ever drove, and I was the first tractor he ever drove. That's awesome, buddy. You did good. I was watching you. Well, he's going to help me put some water now. Okay. What are you doing? She just got stung by a sweat bee three times. Oh no. Got stuck in her swimsuit. Oh no. Pack it up, let's go to the house. There it is guys, good and doused in water. Like I said, that should make a pretty good track for tonight. We got about two and a half, three hours before race time. So I'm gonna go work on my go-kart, hit the lawnmower, mow a little grass, get a few honeydew list items done. We'll see you guys back here in a bit. Right, guys it's about three hours later you see all the carts up there i think we had six of them show up tonight which is perfect and check out the track guys that track has come in absolutely absolutely awesome we're gonna have an awesome track tonight i didn't catch it but a couple of the guys have been out here running some hot laps just kind of getting the track run in checking their checking their go-karts and shaking them down but we're gonna get lined up here normally what we do is uh, we'll all line up we'll run a 10 lap race the winner will go to the back second place goes to the pole and we'll run another 10 laps we'll usually run four or five races like that so everybody's got a chance to win and we don't have to run qualifying or anything usually it makes for a pretty exciting time and then towards the end of the night whoever's left running we usually go for a 25 lap or so so hope the light tower holds out hopefully all of our drainage works good and uh we have a good time i don't know if you guys can see over at the water slide but we got about uh, 30 40 people over here to spectate so should be a good evening let's go racing well boys you ready to go racing so you gonna you gonna make any predictions on who the favorite is for tonight? Obviously you. What? You always win. That's not true. That is true. You guys have been working on your carts longer than I've been working on the track. I've, I've worked on my cart for like five minutes. Mm. You're working on the track all day. Huh? All day. I guess what is it? Good. It's kind of dry up here on top, but other than that, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's close to perfect. Yeah. Close to perfect. That, that corner down there is real perfect. I like that. This one will come in as soon as the sun gets yeah. off of it. So, you got quite the uh, quite the audience here this evening. Yeah, yeah, so. we got quite quite a few more people than we usually do. All right, I say we get them lined up and let's roll.
Sydney, you want to give them a full report of the, the race winners? Yeah, Simon. Simon won the race. Race one was dirt perfect. <laughs> race two, dirt perfect. Race three, I may have ran out of gas, but I think I still won. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, we got to tune them up, we'll go again. Hopefully the new light tower works this time. Yeah. We forgot to tell them. Better. Yeah, well, last time we had to race with car lights. Yeah, last time we had cars out there, headlights shining in our eyes. Hey, we got to race in. It wasn't ideal. We yeah. got to race in. We made it. We made it work. Sun is going down. It is time for the next round of racing. Let's hope all the improvements on the old light tower does the trick. I did get the lights adjusted up there earlier, so let's fire this thing up and see what happens. Come on, baby. All four on. Let's see what goes. you guys down here a little bit the second half of racing guys i did not record a whole lot of it i just wanted to kind of put the camera down hang out with my friends and have a good time that's kind of what this race track's all about i believe i won five out of six races but it, honestly it's not really about winning or losing don't get me wrong winning is definitely more fun but it's just about us a good group of guys good group of friends kind of getting together uh having a little bit of fun in the backyard and, uh, and doing some racing, and that's that's exactly what we did. The light tower, the new lights in the light tower worked absolutely awesome. GoPros just do not do a good job in low light, so it looks quite a bit darker, quite a bit darker than what it really is, but the new lights were definitely, definitely a huge improvement, and this video will always be uh, kind of have a special place in my heart, man. It was uh, it was pretty cool to see Gunner out there on that tractor, and uh, man, did he just take the, uh, take the tractor by the steering wheel. He did, he did an awesome job. And it's pretty cool to see him uh, get his his first little taste of driving a tractor on the exact same tractor that I got my first taste on. So I believe he's got the bug, and we'll uh, we'll slowly be getting him on some more equipment as the time time goes by. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, guys. Let me know if you still enjoy these type of videos, kind of a little off the beaten path here a little bit. But uh, this 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 channel's about my life, so this is part of my life. As always, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And we shall catch you guys on the next one.